if a user's identity becomes compromised, then your enterprise applications could also be compromised, resulting in your data being stolen and compromised. So let's take a look at how to help mitigate identity compromise using identity protection in Azure Active Directory and applying that to Workplace by Facebook. Let's check it out. So let's pretend for a moment that one of the users in my environment had their identity compromised. The attacker might want to use the Tor browser here to then sign in as an anonymous IP address to gain access to Workplace from Facebook. So to do that, they're going to go to Workplace and they're going to sign in as that user. And as you know from the other videos, we've enabled single sign-on, so this is going to redirect us to the Azure AD portal. And we're going to sign in with that user's compromised credentials. Now, again, this is going to anonymize the IP address. Now, the system's going to block this because it's signing in from something that's been restricted. And that's through the risk-based conditional access policy that we created. And here we can see where the traffic is being routed through. And we can indeed see that we're using the Tor browser. And just to prove it, if we go to About, there's the Tor browser. So no smoke and mirrors. So how do you, con how do you configure this? Well, to do that, let me show a diagram called Conditional Access in Azure Active Directory. So basically, when I go to sign in, we're doing some uh, number crunching, if you will, an analysis of looking to see, is that user's identity uh, up for sale on the dark web? Is it leaked out in a public domain? Is the sign-in coming from an anonymous IP address, like the Tor browser, or an anonymous VPN client, which is not normal? Is it impossible travel from an atypical location? Is a signing happening from an infected device, like a device that has malware on it or like a known botnet? Sign-ins from IP addresses with suspicious activity and sign-ins from unfamiliar locations. So then based on those risk events, we're gonna assign a risk score of low, medium, or high, and then we're going to allow you to apply a policy. So in my environment, I'm just applying the block policy, but you might require multi-factor authentication, maybe limit the access using session control, or maybe force password reset. By the way, force password reset requires MFA. So that is the conditional access policy. So let's go look at the policy I've created. So within the Azure Active Directory portal, here we have a conditional access policy that's scoped to my end user, Megan and we're applying two conditions. Uh, the first condition here is user risk. If the risk is medium or high, and they're trying to sign in with a browser or a mobile app, then block the sign in from happening and enable the policy and click save. That's it. And so that is what is allowing that block to occur. And so when I go to the identity protection portal within Azure Active Directory, here I can see um, some data that's happening. And I can see I have a high risk user. And when I click on high risk users, we can see Megan's at risk. And when I click on Megan's account here and go to risk history, we can see that uh, she's been trying to sign in with an anonymous IP address. So of course, they're going to flag her as being a high risk user. So again, you could apply this to just about anything you want. Here I'm applying it to Workplace from Facebook, but I could also apply it to Office 365, G Suite, Zoom, any other app that I choose to. And again, it's looking at the user's um, identity itself and the sign-in activity that's happening. And if it's malicious or compromised, it's going to allow you to block it. So folks, this is using identity protection in Azure Active Directory to protect the user's identity when they go to sign in to Workplace by Facebook. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Happy to help. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to click subscribe so you can stay up to date when I post new videos. And we will see you in the next video. Take care.